In this video, we're going to make sure you understand the role of each of the following types of translators, assemblers, compilers and interpreters. We'll explain the difference between compilation and interpretation, and we'll describe situations in which both would be appropriate. Translators is a catch-all high-level term which refers to any software which takes code which has been written by a programmer and then converts it or translates it into machine-specific binary code, the ones and zeros that actually run on a CPU. Now we're going to start looking at assemblers, which is our first type of translator. Assemblers, like the name suggests, translate any code written in assembly, which is a low-level language, and then churns out using the one-to-one -one relationship described in the last video into machine code specific binary for that CPU. Interpreters and compilers are both used for high level languages. So first of all let's look at interpreters. So interpreters take source code, so that's the code that you would have been writing, for example Python or Visual Basic, and it will take one line of that code, it will translate it, and then that line of code will be sent to the CPU as machine code and executed. The interpreter will then take the next line of source code, it will translate it into machine specific ones and zeros, and that will run on the CPU. Next we have compilers. As you can see, compilers are subtly different, and they can do quite a lot. The big difference to note for your exam is whereas the interpreter was taking one line of source code, translating it and running it, another line, translating it and running it, a compiler, first of all, takes the entire source code, translates it completely, and then by the end of the process, chucks out the machine code which is run. So the interpreter is going line by line, whereas the compiler is translating the entire source code. Now, there are various other things going on here, not all of which you need to know for your exam, and indeed we're going to go through intermediate code in more detail in another video. But briefly, and this is not true for all compilers, but generally compilers take the source code and then they produce what's called object code. They pull in any additional specific libraries that you may have referred to in your code. So in Python you may have put import at the top, which imports pre-compiled routines. It pulls those in to your source code. Uh, it links in uh, any other libraries you need and it produces what's known as intermediary code. This is then interpreted and run as machine code in your computer. But remember here, the big difference for the exam is interpreters take one line of source code at a time, compile and run it, whereas compilers take the entire source code, translate it, and then produce the machine code. So both interpreters and compilers have some advantages. Interpreters can be very useful when writing programs. There's no need for lengthy time-consuming recompilation every time an error is found. It can make it much easier to partially test and debug programs. The program will run each line, translate it, and execute it until a bug is found. With compilation, the, ger the generated object code is kept on disk. It can then be run when needed without needing to recompile the source code. Once created, this object code executes much faster than interpreted code. It's very efficient, it's already been optimised. This object code as well can now be distributed to others. It can be emailed, sent out, shipped on USB, DVDs and downloads, and it will execute independent of this source code or the tool that was used to write it or any compiler. And to some extent, object code is relatively secure. We can give this to someone, but it's hard to read it and walk out, uh, work out what the source code would have been. 